In tonight's KX Conversation, we're speaking about the latest number of DUI arrests in North Dakota with Abby Drexler from Market Watch. Abby, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, good to be here. Now, Abby, can you first speak with us about the rate of DUI arrests here in North Dakota? Yeah, so for the rate, we did it kind of per capita. So the per 100,000 arrests, North Dakota actually had the second highest um, for the arrest behind just behind South Dakota, actually, at 516 um, arrests per 100,000 people. When it comes to fatal crashes, Abby, are there any demographics or statistics that you can share with us? For fatal crashes, we all actually, North Dakota is kind of on that list as well as weirdly with as with the least um, with the least number of DUI fatalities. But when it comes to per 100,000 people, y'all aren't actually on that list of when it comes to per capita. But uh, and overall, like it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be correlating with the fatalities. It just seems like y'all right now are on the list for um, the most per arrest per capita. And when it comes to DUI crashes, do they occur typically at a, a certain time of year? Are they more commonplace during one season than another? Yeah, um, I think like during one season or another, I think they more happen at night. Um, and they tend to happen by like in the summer months overall. Like if you kind of look, I think the highest was we were looking at like July, which kind of makes sense with like the um, 4th of July holiday and things like that. It kind of peaks in July and kind of stays peaked th th through almost October where like November and December it kind of goes back down. Um, but the peak is at July. Nabi, why do you feel North? it's important for North Dakotans to know these numbers? I think it's like one thing is what a DUI can do. We here at Market Watch Guides um, are kind of at providing consumers like knowledge on like what they need to know about their like financial decisions. And one of those is just like finding like, yes, like um, DUI obviously hope could res result in a death, which is scary on its own, but also just the like, financial burdens that come across, not just if you don't get arrested, like, you know, you're not arrested. Like a few of those things, like your insurance rates, for example, go up an average of 71% after you've had a DUI. Some other costs kind of include like obviously like attorney fees, DMV fees, car if you went to jail, um, traffic school often. But just I think like 71% is a pretty big increase in your insurance rates after, uh, after you've had a DUI. Well, Abby, we appreciate you coming on and speaking with us about this. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day.